Good morning, good evening, and good day. Thank you so much for watching Attack Power Gaming. Today, we're doing our Let's Play series with the Panzer 20th Panzer Division. If you enjoy this content, please hit that like button, drop a comment, and subscribe for more Steel Division 2 com co content. Excuse me. So, today we are on, I don't remember the name of this map, we are playing Genie245 with Toulon. Ooh. This is a pretty open map, so hopefully we can take advantage of that to uh, use our armor effectively. But he does have some really strong anti-aircraft guns that fire really far. Some 88s and 105s, the only division with 105s. So those are really dangerous. Going to have to be careful for those. He also has some really fast airplanes and some really strong infantry. So we're definitely going to have to contend with all of that. So let's see what we want here. I'm sorry about my voice tonight. A little bit sore. Working through it. I did make a slight change to the deck before I played this one. I actually up-vetted these two infantry in A. I did take out one card of Flak 88s, which I might regret here, and instead added these Alfclair Recon. Just a heads up for that small change there. So support-wise, we're going to go... question is how aggressive do we feel like we can be? I think... Uh... I, I want to say Toulon has tractions, which is bad for me. They're the fastest car in the game, which means he could get places really early. Like, way earlier than me. But I'm not 100% confident about that. So, I'm going to try to sprinkle a couple Alfclair around the map here. No, I'm not in a rush to get him into that position. Just, I just want to get him places so that I have better line of sight and can really actually like see what's going on I've definitely noticed more and more that the lack of recon in my decks can really hurt sight wise I like using recon to like sneak around and stuff behind enemy lines and, and that's what I like using them for but that's not necessarily the best way to use them I mean obviously the easiest and most straightforward way to use them is as recon to see stuff so I actually could call in a Panzer T-34 here to cover this entire road it's a great position because you can just back up if things get too dicey. We're going to call in one Panzer Grenadier and two Ostruppen. I'm going to put the Pigren. Try to give him like the most range here. And that's actually the most there. I'm going to do an Ostruppen here. And one more here. And then I'm going to call in two of my Flammenwerfers. There. To actually push into the town a little bit here. We'll see how it goes. Support wise, I do have a grill. I could, uh, I could get, I could get, have some fun with some long range booms. Oh, okay. He's already ready to go. That seemed really early. I forgot to say hello. Hello. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to be rude. Three minutes is plenty of time, though. He's just going to have to wait. Guy on there. Uh, this is a pretty easy flag to grab, so let's see if we can. We're going to call in one of our Panzer Grenadiers with the half track. And what you can do is kind of like call him in like really tight to the ground there. And I'm also going to call in one of my recon Panzer 3s here. I'm going to place him right there. And then I'm going to call in my grill. And I'm going to position this guy kind of out, a little out in the open here. Not usually suggested, but we're going to try it here. Then the rest of my Flammenwerfers, we're going to go here. We're just going to go into this woods here. No need to be overly aggressive with them. And we're going to call in our second Panzer three here. Right there with that nice line of sight. We're going to call it a Panzer T-34 into this area, which is a really good area for it. And we're going to call in ooh, one Panzer Grenadier with an SDKFZ, because they can do pretty well in the forest there. We're going to call in two Ostruppen. Put them into this position here. Uh, close range, he definitely has way stronger close range infantry. It's not like he has a ton of them, but he definitely has better ones. I'm going to call in the Alfclair all the way over here. I just want to kind of like sneak them in. 
I'm not looking for them to like definitely I definitely don't want them to be on the front lines. So we're gonna see if I can get them I just need to, I just wanna see. I wanna be able to see more than he can see. Call the other leader in here. I really wanna to try to take advantage of a strong strong uh uh, what do you call it? Uh, veterancy bonus over him. I'm just going to call in some Panzergrenz here, and I'm going to call in a light AT in this position as well. But I want to make sure I set it up that it's not, like, out in the open. He doesn't have a lot of tanks. He's got, like, a cart of Stugs and a cart of light tanks, so not much to deal with. Good luck. Have fun. All right, and we are going to turn this because I just don't like it that way. All right, here we go. Let's hop on in. I'm not gonna lie, this person's set up so fast. I'm I'm there's a good chance they're a noob. And I could be totally wrong. He could run me down completely. He could just be really good and sets up really fast. But the fact he didn't say anything to me and set up really fast is definitely suspicious. So I'm I'm definitely very interested to see what he's got going on here. Toulon's a solid division. It's not as good as it... I mean, when it was released, it was absolutely absurd. Like, it was way... I'll be honest, most of the time when they release new divisions, they're pretty OP. This one was, like, stupid good. I think it... I do think it released at the same time as, as the uh, DFL. Which is also a really strong division. Alright, see, we took some really early stuff. Oh, no, no, he's definitely calling. He's like... He's calling in normal stuff. Unload. Oh, Flammover for dead. There we go. Let's see if we can't kill some of these dudes here. That's good. So I'm going to move these guys forward. I want to get these Ostrupen in a better position here. Off player, we're going to move here, put on return fire. I have no desire for them to shoot anything. Okay, return fire for them. Other Flamen were for just... Oh, this, these. Yeah, that's fine. Let's push them forward. Cool. Let's get another one of these. We'll be able to clear them out fast, easy enough. Then we have some infantry going here, so we're going to call in two Ostrupen. And we're going to call in the other, the other leader there. It could definitely be useful. Uh, I want to turn off the APCR shells. No need for that. Let's set him up. He's got a nice tight range there, so I can't see too. So he can't see me too far out. Going to call in a Panzer Grenadier, another Ostrup in here, along with a Panzer III. I'm actually going to call the Panzer III in here, based on what's going on right now. We're calling another 45 mil. There we go. I'm gonna move this guy this way because I really ah, oh, that's just bad luck. That's just unfortunate. All right, so we're gonna cross the. I'm gonna say cross the street with them. Let's go here. Pentagrens. We're gonna move forward a little bit. We can definitely push these guys forward. Put them on return fire. You want to put them on return fire so that they don't reveal themselves. Like, you often want to do that with your leaders. Alright, so he was able to push me off of this flag, at least. Let's see. Unload, unload. Unlikely I'll be able to get this guy, but... Once he drops his bomb, now we hop out. See? And you can actually almost fully dodge bombs that way. When your guys are in buildings, you can hop them out quick and they can kind of dodge the enemy attacks. I'm going to move this guy this way because they're, they're clearly pushing something over here. So I'm not going to be able to catch them. They, they basically have the same speed. Alright, over here. Killed the land shoots in. It'd be cool if I could grab this flag for free. That'd be nice, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. Let's move this guy here. I don't want him, like, way in the front. So, all strooping. This dude here. We'll move the Pioneer Fuhrer here. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Again, sorry for the, uh... Sorry for the voice. Push him forward. 
I do believe it's time to get this guy forward. Oh, a dangerous little group of dudes here. These guys are really strong at range. They have triple MGs. They're really, really strong. But honestly, at normal range, they're not all that dangerous at all. Because once you eliminate their three MGs, they're pretty normal. Once again, using that to dodge the opponent's attack. I'm not going to be able to reach him, so let's just, let's just get rid of that now. Hmm. I'm starting to wonder what's there that I can't see from this position. Let's do that. Let's get out of here. I'm not sure what's going on. There we go. Weird glitches like that happen sometimes. G42 is under attack. This thing is not actually, like, dangerous per se. It's literally like a, uh, it's a Pack 40 mount mounted on a car. But like a, a vehicle with absolutely no armor whatsoever. Well, I'm actually, I'm gonna call this in here and move it up to this position. I'm gonna move this SDKFZ up to here. Recaptured that, so we have the 1311. I did forget to mention we're both on balance, so that's definitely good. All right, so we got a good, we're in a good spot here. So let's let's push forward a little bit. And he is getting aggressive with his uh, with his airplanes. Like I mentioned, he probably would. That's unfortunate, but unsurprising. Now, truthfully, I don't actually really want this fight because they'll f they'll fight like. I have better, there's a better time and place for me to take that fight. Oh, let's get off this hill. Uh, he's alive. Grill, finish it. Oh, these things are extremely inaccurate. Just remember that. <laughs> they are stupid inaccurate. Alright, let's bring that in there. To give me some AT power there. I wouldn't mind a pack 40 here. Might do really well. So let's unload here. Let's push forward here. Let's call in another Ostrupen. There we go. Kill it. There we go. Very nice. And we're just going to push this guy right up to here. Very good. The Martyr 3 could be a little dangerous. But on the flip side, my light AT is actually really, really well set to handle it. This is a weird move, I know. I'm gonna walk this guy across here. Here it comes again. Oh, I used up all my anti air for this. Uh... Yeah. I'd love to catch this thing. Oh, he might. I called it in pretty early this time. I doubt it, but I might. Let's move him up to there. Ooh, the U4, that thing's dangerous. We're gonna go this way. Do I out... Can I race him? That's the question. Oh, he got some AA. That's bad. Ah, oh, there I go. That's a bummer. That's a serious bummer. All right, let's see what else we can do here. Let's get an SDKFZ here. We called in right there. Yeah, I already knew what that was. Let's get ourselves a mortar. We have we're we're, we're doing well. It's fourteen ten. Establish myself in a good position here. I'm, I kind of regret calling in both my aid up down here, but it's all right. Worst things have happened. Let's call this in here. What kind of sight line? Okay, so he's not even blocking the the sight line there. He's definitely got some kind of infantry right here. That's how he's holding. That's how he continues to hold that point. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh well, happens. 
All right, let's see here. This is actually semi-effective against stuff because of that 30 mil cannon is really strong. I'm going to call in another Ostrupin. And we're going to call in a Panzer T-34. Got to turn off these APCR shells. There it is. That's what was hiding there. I told you there was something. This is unfortunately just out of range. Well, just is a strong word, but let's move him back. Let him let him move into range of this thing. And from there we can hopefully kill it. Oh, he's shooting the Uh, this is where putting him reverse probably would have helped. Alright, let's see what we got now. First things first, let's call in some better anti-air. I'm going to position it here. It is pretty far back, but the fact is it will actually um, be able to def cover better. Because I don't want it in a spot where he can just shoot it. Then it's like useless. Uh, let's get him out of there. So we had at least one car to pack 40s there at the beginning. Which means that's one less he's got now. Alright, so we got enough of a net, a net now to stop that from happening over and over again. So that's definitely a plus. Killed that tank, it would appear? Yes, sweet. Now, let's call in some Pioneer SVTs here. We can finally start taking the fight to, the, to close range here. What's he got, a martyr? Yeah. Alright. Not a huge deal. go there. Let's put our sharp pens of Grenadier here forward. Where's it coming now? Wow, that is, that's a, I would, I would say probably a, a bit of an overkill. Uh, it's probably going to die. This is likely a little bit aggressive. I'm gonna move him forward a bit. Go, go, go. I'm not looking for this fight. All right. Ooh, can't believe we got out of that. Gonna move this guy cautiously forward. And calling a Ju on him. Tank-wise now. Hmm. Let's call in a Pioneer SVT. I know he's still got a bunch of stuff in this woods here. I just don't know what. So I'm going to try to use my, uh, just set him to group one so I can call him quickly and usefully. Where is this thing? Right there. Oh, so close. All right, there that is. I'd love to pick up one more flag. That that flag right there would be great. Oh, really? Wow. That's unfortunate. All right, anyway. Let's call this in. Let's call... What's the range on the word for only 2,200 meters. So that, that's the issue with the word problem, and I'm going to have to get very close to use it. Infantry, we're going to call in a Panzer Grenadier and a Panzer Shrek here. Let's back him up before we lose him. See if we can't... Uh, yeah, oh, ooh, there's a little shot from him. Finish him, finish him. Yes! Great kill. Great, great kill. That's a, that's a big win. Let's see if we can't hit him with some arty. Gonna get my Pioneer SVTs in here now, along with my actual Pioneer, well, my SDK I've said with the actual Pioneers. I often say don't, like, don't go nuts on the half tracks with stuff. That doesn't mean they're not good. Like, don't misunderstand, don't overuse half tracks as they are not good, because that is not what it means. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and get us get a, uh, what do you call it? Which am I called? Commander. Ooh, 
Ha! I really didn't want him to kill that. Okay, we obviously need to shift this AA into a better position because he's not, uh, he's not hitting stuff. And that's an issue. Back up my Pioneer Fear. I was a little aggressive with him and now I'm being punished for that. Calling another Pioneer SVT. Let's keep pushing forward here. I don't think he's got much. I killed the armor that was in here. So I believe that that is now empty. Let's get an Ostrupen down here and we're just going to walk him forward. It's okay if whatever reveals on that hill. Can get rid of this though. I'd like to recapture this at some point, for sure. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Alright, SVT, up we go. Now, I do know, I mean, he, he called in his Stug, he called in his Panzer Jaeger, he's called in his Marta 1, so he's called in the majority of his armor at this point. So I'm going to call in my Verfobman with, you're going to need ammo with it, and we're going to call in this Panzer 3, which is extremely effective in the uh, this area here. My Panzer is still alive. My T-34, I mean. It has... It has survived. So we're going to unload. And I'm actually going to move him this way just to kind of like extra pump my AA. And I'm going to move him so he's in range of my AA, which is kind of like the whole point. Unload. Let's get some more Panzergrens. Move this guy over here. Just gonna, I'm going to see if that, uh, I actually kind of just want to see if that, uh, whatever, whatchamacallit, the, uh, Pack 40 is still alive. Then he has pushed me off here, so I'm going to call in an Ulstrup and I'm going to push these two forward. Call in another Panzer Grenadier to continue to keep that beefed up. Call in some mortar here. I need to move this because it's been sitting there quite a while. Alright, we cleared that out. That's great. That's pretty safe. There's no line of sight to see me moving there. And this is also probably the last of his like light tanks that he's got. I should be pretty safe at this range from those. But killing both of those would be nice. Definitely would be very nice. Well, there's that pack 40, so it is still alive. And I know it's quite weak at this point, but I still need it to be dead. Like, I do pretty badly need that thing to be dead. We're in the back of a tent. Wow, I can't believe he died. So fast. I should say died so fast. So now we have to use our superior veterancy to annihilate... That was sloppy. Let's call another fighter. He's using his mortar to good effect to suppress my guys, but he is losing his... Oh, good. Killed it. Nice. He is losing his, his elite infantry. And they are not infinite by any stretch. So, let's see here. What are... Verfamen, and it's about time we punish him for this, and then we're gonna move, unload, keep these SVTs coming. We're definitely gonna need some more Pendergrens. Let's move our Panzer three forward here. Oh, he did have a lot of shoots in there. They don't have anything anti-tank though, so we're safe. So now we're gonna start moving him forward. Very good. Picked up that 1410 again. Move. I'm gonna move. Take advantage of our SDK of Zeds. Big booms. Boom. Ba ba boom. Ba ba boom. Ba ba buoy. Ba ba buoy. All right, there we go. Now we push forward immediately to surrender anyone who didn't die. But there's a good chance that a lot of them actually died in that. Oh no. What? Oh, the mortars. They're good. Alright, so let's, uh, let's double panzers over here, and, uh, 
Let's send some infantry forward as well. Let's move these guys forward. Let's just uh, strengthen up that position there a little bit. All right, there we go. That pack 40 is finally dead. Took care of that. At some point, I definitely need to try and uh, target these artillery that are hitting me, but I'm kind of waiting for Phase C to call in my heavy arty. Now, I'm pretty sure Toulon has some pretty strong artillery as well. So that's definitely something we're going to have to contend with. We're going to call him two Pioneer SVTs down here. He's got this in a position where it literally isn't doing anything. So we're going to call. We're in a great position. So we're going to call in some early arty here. Right here. Now, when calling an arty, do not put it on the road. Why? Because then every time they get counter battery, stuff that happens to be driving by gets killed too. And that sucks. This is great. I love when he flies dudes into my triple star AA. This is absolutely fantabulous. Kill him. So the thing is, I don't actually have a ton of stuff here. So cool that he only got one call in after that. That's huge. We're going to move these slightly. Opel Blitz destroy. Oh, they really beat them out. So I did not do a great job of, like, establishing a good uh, fire support here. So these guys are just going to die. That's okay. Again, kind of what I expected. He's really targeting my packs hard. So that Martyr 1 is still alive. All right. My guess is that he can, he, he just can't angle down to kill this thing. So he's got a, a big pack. And now he's targeting my air, anti air as well. Let's start, uh, let's see if we can't answer back a little bit. So unfortunately, it would appear I was positioned, this flak idiot was just not in a good enough position to get him. I'm definitely going to need some Panzergren help. Are you out of ammo? Oh yeah, you're like totally out of ammo. I actually really kind of want you to be functioning, so I'm going to bring in a different one of you. Oh, bad me. Okay, called in more of those. I do need more um, artillery. I do need more anti-air, but first I want some more artillery here. I'm calling a second flak down here to really kind of shore this up a little bit. Oh, this is great to catch one of these guys out. They're very strong. So to to catch one of them out and like kind of eliminate, that's pretty strong. All right, so he finally has his dudes. Super up vetted as well. This is fine though. Actually, let's re aim right to there. Alright, these guys aren't strong. Let's get in there. I do want another one of these. All right, we're going to try this. I, I don't feel good about it, but we're going to try it. All right, got him reset there. This dude's got bullets again. That's good. Ah, that's unfortunate. Now, I'm pretty sure this thing has no armor, so I should be able to kill it with just the normal, like, machine guns on my tanks here. Killing that would be sick. I don't think he'll be strong enough to kill that, but we'll see. Let's see if we can get him into position to help out. Did he fire? 
Oh god, he did. Move, move, move. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, he fired faster than I thought he would. Alright, I wanted to have two artillery before I started firing because I didn't want them to get like single shot down before they could even like stop the opponent. There we go, very good. That's fine, not the end of the world. We're calling two of these. Oh, he did kill one. Crap. That's okay, I got more. becoming the arty party of champions here. That's unfortunate. Ooh, if I could kill something big and heavy, it'd be sick. Oh, that was that SVT I called in. These are junky, I believe? No, they're not. Not at all. They're very strong. Totally incorrect. <laughs> I think I killed two, though, already. So that's definitely good. Oh yeah, I can't see them right now, and that's definitely an issue. He has managed to put it up to a 12-12, which is okay. It's not the end of the world. <clears throat> oh, did he get hit by a stray stinking? Are you kidding me? I don't think they'll last long <laughs> against what I got there, but no reason to sit around and let them have their way. So let's push forward, and at this point we can definitely start taking advantage of the fact I don't think he can really kill my SDKFZs very well. I definitely need some more of these. I definitely have some more heavy arty, so let's call it in. <laughs> Got that plus one bleed again. That's what we need. I'm a little annoyed that my... That my artillery has not actually killed anything yet. I'm actually just doing this so I can remember where it is. I'd really like them to actually kill this thing. There we go. Alright, so now. That one. Okay, and you guys are both going to unload when you get there. There 
airplane. Let's go get him. Port. Where? Oh. Taking out their anti-air is definitely good too. My my fighter bombers are just as good as theirs. You always want to move your uh, munition trucks a little bit further away from your artillery, so if they get hit, they don't explode and kill your stuff. Two. All right, so now we're getting counter battery. Now we have to play that game. Who can kill whose artillery first? Getting a little annoyed that my flax are not stopping this air. So I'm gonna call one like way further forward here. I'm gonna move this Opa Blitz munitions over here. And we just have to stay strong in the face of his pushes. We should be alright. I haven't even like really started leaning on my <laughs> on my many tanks, which is kind of funny. Definitely sell something over here. With already this heavy, I just really need one good hit. Oh, really? Oh well. Wasn't using it that much anyway. Did he see it? <clears throat> Let's fill out my air tab a little bit more here. There we go. It's not like his dudes are invincible. They die. Huh. Not sure how that happened. How many Brandenburgers does he have? I feel like I've seen a lot. Oh, come on, he's still getting it off. It's really annoying. I'm hoping even a little bit of damage from this thing will, like, make it stop. <laughs> Alright, let's hit that. He hasn't moved that, so let's let's land that shot. Alright, so we're there. Still got that nice 1410 bleed. Set these guys up on the edge of the forest to make sure they can cover stuff for real. Get this to the actual position so he can actually help. Okay, good, good, good. You know, let's call it T-34 and a Panzer IV here. Him and that Falcon Wolf on my freaking SDK of Zeds. I think that highlights just how much he can't actually deal with them. Get a little more aggressive and move this up to here. He has killed, managed to kill a lot of my infantry here. So, definitely gotta get some more in here. Oh, I do have one Pioneer SVT left. That's good. Let's call on one of them. Keep the troops flowing. Uh, 
Well, that's just that 138. He, he has a second one, apparently. We are going to call on another 37 mil here. Do you, do you want? No, he doesn't. So I'm not, still not sure how he saw that. He should definitely be starting to... I mean, he's got a lot of AA. That's that's what that division's all about. But I'm definitely doing a, putting a hurting on it, that's for sure. 59 got a double tick now. Grab this flag and this one in the middle and this one here. So that's great. Ooh, barely made it out alive there. And now we can just grind them down. So this is how you play a, a, a solid balance game. You get that plus one tick and you just hold it. And you make the opponent react to you. You gotta still, you still have to play to make your opponent react to you, even when you're playing balance. You know, even if your plan is to play like a grindy, artillery-esque sort of thing, you still have to make sure the opponent's reacting to you. Because if they're not, they're gonna be pushing you, and then you're reacting to them, and you're not actually buying the stuff you need to buy. It's really important. You out? No, you're not out. You know, let's just stop you there. We're gonna call in two Panzer three, two Panzer fours here, just to say no. Yep, I don't care. Oh no, go there. Yeah, let's go clear those out. Oh, there goes one. That's that double 37 millimeter, like, flak special gun they have. He's gonna kill my other one. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Waste of resources, but it was over aggressive because I don't really need to not be aggressive here. Group two. Yeah, let's kill this. Oh, there you are. That grill has done work. That's why I mentioned I love one. one Long range, one long range uh, support gun can go a long way. GG. <laughs> and that'll be game there. Alrighty, so let's check out those team stats really quick. A very nice 700 point ahead. Uh, let's see what we got kill wise. This light pack did great work. Think of that, 30 points. This is why I do love these. They can shoot infantry. I mean, that killed what? That's a 50 point, probably like 25. I mean, it didn't fully kill these, but still. That's like 75 points, double that. That's great. MG42 did a lot of work. Look at this grill. Oh, oh. And it basically did that all by itself. That is, that's so great. Flak 37 did a ton of work. When you can get these triple vetted, whoo, they kill things. I was able to make use of my SDK as well. One, even my 81 mil mortar here did some did some work. Ver farming killed some things. That was great. Cool. Pack 40 was in a nice position, apparently. My 150 millimeter artillery, it's, it didn't pay for itself, but it got really close, actually. Got very close. And you don't really buy these to actually, like, get tons of kills. It's nice when they do, but you want the, they suppress and they can eventually kill stuff, but that's not what you're shooting for. Yeah, yeah this freaking Falcon Wolf, jeez. Martyr 1, his Martyr 1 did really well here. Pack 40, 81 mil mortar, a lot of damage. How did that thing kill so much? I must have drove some stuff into it. <laughs> yeah, his Falcon Wolves really did a lot of work. They're hard to stop. Like rocket, medium rocket, uh, medium resilient rocket planes are really hard to stop. Uh, and those seem to function really well. So, all right, so that's the 20th Panzer Let's Play. I hope you enjoyed this content. Please hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, have a fantastic day.